Hey, I'm Jed McDonald, Vice President of Social Media and Content at Reshift Media. My first impressions of Threads is that it was probably one of the easiest new social media platforms to onboard. By integrating with your existing Instagram account, you got to skip over all the difficult stage of finding follows and followers from scratch. But are your Instagram followers really who you want to follow in Threads? That's the big question. The rollout of Threads was pretty smooth, considering how quickly millions of users were jumping on board. I understand why Meta started with a really stripped down version with like no DMs, no hashtags, no topic searches, etc. to reduce the risk of all those initial bugs and let everyone get used to the interface. But they're going to really have to start rolling out these standard features ASAP to keep users engaged and active. Whether or not Threads will be here in six months really depends on what kind of platform it turns out to be. I think that there was a pretty immediate and obvious disconnect for most users when it came to seeing posts from people they follow on Instagram in a Twitter-like setting. The vibe of those two platforms is just so completely different. You know, Instagram tends to be a bit more earnest and joyful and announcement-based. Uh, Twitter is a bit more sarcastic and conversational and, and news topics. Um, but if Threads, you know, sticks with their plans to avoid news and politics, and along with not having a chronological feed, it really won't be able to compete with the thing that Twitter did really, really well, and that's breaking news. So if Threads isn't trying to be the new Twitter, and it doesn't really work as an Instagram platform, then what exactly is it trying to be? Uh, in terms of whether threads will go the distance, it's really impossible to predict uh, the future when it comes to social media. So who knows if threads is going to be around, you know, in five years from now. But I will say that every time I thought that meta was down for the count, it wasn't. Right now, the opportunity for brands is pretty limited. Um, it's just organic posting and there's no way to schedule content. So it's not easy organic posting. Um, I can't imagine that's going to be case, the case for long, though. Instagram's branding content tools are already coming to threads, so that's going to open it up really soon to influencer campaigns. And I assume it won't be long until we start seeing threads as a placement option in Facebook's ads manager. Threads' initial adoption rate was very impressive. Uh, I never thought so many people would be pro-meta in 2023, but perhaps it's more that they're anti-Elon. Both personally and for the brands we manage, I'm posting a bit on threads, but mostly engaging and really getting the lay of the land. For brands, it's not exactly Instagram and it's not exactly Twitter, so you just can't repurpose an existing content strategy from another platform. So right now we're really mixing um, experimentation with watching what is performing well for others as we all wait and kind of see what, what vibe threads is going to settle into.